Hello children, how are you all? I hope you are fit and fine. Children, this is your maths video class and as you all know, we are revising chapter number 7, money. And we have started exercise 7.5 that was based on subtraction. So children, we will continue the same exercise because two questions were left yesterday. So we will complete, okay? that uh, were only based on the subtraction word problem. So children, let's uh, start doing our question number 11 and 12 children. So this is exercise 7.5. Please turn over your page of your maths book. That is page 121. And this is exercise number 7.5. Okay, and we are going to do number 11. Surjit bought, Surjit bought, Surjit bought the following things, sorry, a book for, a book for, Rupees thirty five fifteen paise. Okay, thirty five and fifteen paise and a pen and a pen four rupees four rupees twelve. 90 paise. He gave he gave 50 a 50 rupees note a 50 rupees note note a 50 rupees note to the to the bookseller to the bookseller okay how much money would the bookseller return how much money how much money Would the bookseller return? Would the bookseller return? Okay, this is your question. Now, solution we will write. So, children, first you see. Surjit bought a book for rupees 35 and 15 paise and a pen for rupees 12 and 90 paise. So Surjit bought Surjit bought book a book rupees and paise 35 and 15 a pen equal to 12 and 90 so first we will add this so how much he spend on these two items okay children so pehle hum log dekhenge ki kitna spend kiya usne ye dono item par then we will do the subtraction because he had given uh, a note of 50, 50 rupees note to that bookseller. So now here children, 5, 1 and 9, 10. So 1 is carry over. Now 5 and 2 is 7. 7 and 1 is 8. Now 3 and 1 is 4. Now here children, you can see, he spent 48 rupees and 5 paise. Okay, 
So this amount he spent on these two items. Okay. Now here children that question is telling us that he gave 50 rupees note to the bookseller. Usne 50 rupees ka note bookseller ko diya. So the question is how much money would the bookseller return? Kitna money bookseller ne return kiya? Thik hai? So chaliye isko dekhte hai kaise karenge? Now we will write. Now children, he gave, he gave rupees and paise, ठीक है, 50 rupees note, 50 rupees note. Now here, 48 rupees he spent. Now, we are going to minus it. So, 10, it will become 10. Now, here 9. Then, 10, it will become 9. And now, here 10. Okay. So, 10 minus 5, we will get 5. 9 minus 0. So, we will get uh, uh, 9. Okay. Now here 9 minus 8 we will get 1. So children here how much he had, how much uh, money the bookseller returned. Okay, the bookseller had returned 1 rupees 95 paise. So we will write answer. Okay children, so we will write answer over here. The bookseller had returned, had returned rupees one and ninety five paise. The bookseller had returned one rupees ninety five paise to the Surjit. Okay children. So complete this. We have done. Now we are moving to do our next question that is 12. Okay. Complete this. Okay children. Complete it. Now we will do 12 number. Twelve number we are going to do children. So the twelve number is Seema wants to buy a powder pack costing rupees thirty five and eighty paise, a toothpaste tube costing rupees twenty rupees five paise, and a toothbrush costing rupees twenty five rupees and thirty five paise. She has only one hundred rupees. Okay. Uh, okay children, uh, with her, how much money? How much more money will she need or save? Now children, here we are going to do this uh, question. First we will write this question. This is 12 number question. So uh, Seema wants to buy. Seema wants to buy. Seema kharidna chahti hai. A powder pack, a powder pack, a powder pack costing rupees, costing rupees thirty five and eighty paise, thirty five and eighty paise. A toothpaste tube, a tooth paste tube, a toothpaste tube costing rupees, 
costing rupees costing rupees uh, rupees we will mention like this costing rupees um, toothpaste tube costing ru costing rupees 20 and 5 paise okay and a toothbrush and a toothbrush toothbrush rupees rupees 25 25 and 35 paise okay 35 paise she has only 100 rupee note she has only 100 100 rupee note okay 100 rupees note with her with her so here children how much more money how much more money how much more money will she need will she need or save now first we will understand that what is written in this word problem it is simple children Seema wants to buy a powder pack costing rupees 35 and 80 paise Seema khareedna chahti hai ek powder pack costing jo uski hai wo 35 rupees 80 paise hai a toothpaste tube costing rupees 20 ru 20 rupees and 5 paise and after that toothbrush toothbrush rupees 25 and 35 paise she has only 100 rupees note ab uske paas kya hai situation kya hai कि उसके पास सिर्फ और सिर्फ 100 रुपीस का नोट है, ठीक है? अब, so the question is asking how much more money will she need or save? उसको कितना पैसे और चाहिए? क्योंकि 100 रुपीस नोट में अगर 35, 25 and here children you can see 25, so 100 रुपीस नोट में if it is possible, so how much more money she needed or she saved? So children, we will write solution first. Okay. So write down question and then solution. So first of all, we will uh, write cost of powder. Powder pack. Okay. Now here. Rupees uh, 35 and 80 paise. Okay. Cost of tooth paste. Tooth paste. Rupees 20 and Five paise. Okay. Now toothbrush. Cost of tooth brush. Now twenty five rupees and thirty five paise. So these you can say the costing of these three items. Now we will just see that how much money she will spend on these items so here 5 5 10 1 is carry over 8 and 3 is there so 9 10 11 and this is 12 1 is carry over now 5 5 10 and 1 is 11 now 1 is carry over 3 2 5 3 2 5 6 7 and 8 
so here 81 rupees 20 paise she will spend on these items is pe usko spend karne hai and she had she has only 100 rupees note uske paas sirf 100 rupees hai theek hai so children what we will do so here we will see now 100 rupees note this is rupees and paise she had she has she has 100 rupees note okay she has 100 rupees note what we will do here the total expenditure of these items are 81 rupees and 20 paise okay now here children we will write 81 rupees and 20 paise so here we will see that how much amount will left with her now children as you have seen that is one is there so we will give one it will become nine now here again ten it will become nine now again ten so children here we have seen that uh, zero zero is there so we need one so it will become ten so zero zero we will write zero 10 minus 2 we will get 8, 9 minus 1 we will get 8 and 9 minus 8 we will get 81, okay. So it will become 18 rupees 80 paise. So answer we will write children, Seema saved, Seema saved rupees 18 and 80 paise okay children it means here what we have done we just added all the things together but the cost of things now here we have subtracted okay now the subtraction is there so 100 rupees note was there so now 81 rupees and 20 paise is total cost now here we have subtract 0 minus 0 we will get 0 10 minus 2 we will get 8 now here 9 minus 1 we will get 8 9 minus 8 we will get 1 so children complete this we have completed okay now 12 number question we have done it means exercise 7.5 we have done children okay now we are, we are going to start multiplication multiplication of rupees and paise by a number okay so you complete this and after that we will do multiplication so multiplication children as you all know this is called repeated addition and we have done in the earlier chapter also so we are going to start multiplication multiplication of rupees and paise rupees and paise rupees and paise by a number by a number okay so multiplication of rupees and paise by a number we are going to do multiply so multiply if we will do uh, i'm going to give you example that if we will doing multiplication write this rupees 5 multiply by 3 so we will just multiply 5 uh, 3 fives are that 5 ones are 5 5 twos are 10 5 threes are 15 so 15 so if the rupee is 5 we are going to multiply with 3 so what we will get we will get the answer in rupees 15 okay now next example we are I am going to give you that is 30 paise multiply by 9 paise 30 multiply by 9 so children we will do this is paise okay 9 9 zeros are 0, 9 threes are, uh, 9 threes are children, write down, uh, that is uh, 9 threes are 
twenty nine and nine threes are twenty seven. So we will get two hundred seventy paise. Paise two hundred and seventy. So that is how we can write this. Okay, two hundred and seventy paise equal to if we will write in rupees. So it will become rupees two and seventy paise. Okay. So children, complete this. Likewise, we will do the multiplication. It is as simple as we have done. If the uh, question is given in rupees, the answer will come in rupees. If the question is given in paise, so answer will come in the paise. So children, we will complete this in our next video. Okay. So after this multiplication, we will learn how to make bills. Okay. So children. We will meet again in our next video. Till then, bye bye and take care of yourself.